A vehicle that is autonomous or driveless is one that can move without human control. Self-driving cars are in charge of observing their surroundings, keeping an eye on critical systems, and executive control, including steering. Can this transport system work in Ghana? Well, let's dive deeper into this video. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share for your friends and families to also watch this video. Now, let's get started. In an effort to enhance transportation in the nation, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority DVLA, has said that it is collaborating with the Minister of Transport and other stakeholders to introduce electric and driveless vehicles in Ghana. This announcement was made at the maiden edition of International Driver and Vehicle Licensing Innovation Conference, which took place in Accra and featured discussion on creative approaches to enhance the transportation sector. The Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the DVLA remarked that the agency is implementing new ideas to make sure that the nation's transportation industry is developed. We want to bring together specialists in other transportation fields to discuss how transportation will develop in the future. He said, as far as transportation is concerned, we are all aware of a number of global transformation. We currently have self-driving cars and even flying cars. In terms of transportation, there are far too many emerging technologies. So is Ghana really ready for bringing flying and driveless vehicles to Ghana? Let me hear your comments in the comment section. According to Ghana's Minister of Transport, the use of artificial intelligence can improve vehicle safety and lower traffic accidents as the nation transitions to the usage of electric and driveless vehicles. He claimed that the incorporation of AI in driver and vehicle technology holds enormous promise for enhancing the general driving environment in our nation. He said that using AI-driven data to identify danger and improve the situation as we transition to the era of electric vehicles and driveless vehicles, the integration of AI in driver and vehicle technologies also holds a lot of promise. AI can increase car safety by spotting potential hazard, avoiding traffic accidents, and ultimately making drivers safer overall. Additionally, data generated by AI can aid in developing alternate transport systems, identifying problem regions, and improving our understanding of traffic regulations. Despite the enormous potential benefits, we must also keep in mind the difficulties that may arise. He mentioned unemployment losses and cybersecurity concerns as two obstacles related to shift to a more technological-driven transportation scene. However, he pointed out that steps have been taken to address the issues raised above in the transport sector. According to preliminary data from the National Road Safety Authority, the number of traffic accidents have dropped to roughly 11.27% in August 2023. But in order to protect their lives and their automobiles, the public has been urged to drive safely. Overall, this project will help on school drivers who don't know road rules and regulations. But we have to know that these vehicles are made by programmers, engineers, the same humans like us. So we don't have to rely 100% on these autonomous vehicles like Tesla and others. Chinese driverless buses or Tesla vehicles need a human assistance at some point. Any technical or mechanical issues can occur at any time. So is this going to work in Ghana? Let me hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel, like the video and share for your friends and families to also watch this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.